Well, here at 7 News, we continue to think about our beloved retired chief meteorologist, Dr. Dave Walker. As we told you yesterday, Doc died suddenly on his way to Mexico just weeks after retiring. As we shared our favorite stories, we realized these are stories you might want to hear too. So DK Wright gathered them and wove them into a unique tribute to a one of a kind man. Doc was unique. The one day, one of my first times ever meeting him, I came in the weather center sitting right in this chair and he was munching on a tomato like an apple. For a long time, I thought the only thing that I, that, that I ever saw him eat was, were, were carrot sticks and celery. So I finally at one point said to him, do you ever eat anything else? And he said yes. And a couple of days later, he brought me a tomato. You know, Doc Dave was a very unique person. Uh, and as much as people said, well, he, he's a... He does things a little differently than a lot of people. And one best thing you can say, and I know it's overused, but no one said anything bad about him. It was April Fool's Day, and uh, you can see where this is going. He did his whole first weather in Spanish. Um, without, I, I didn't know, nobody knew. Even in the prompter, it was all Spanish. And uh, I thought it was hilarious until I got this uh, frantic call from my boss. Whenever I asked him to stretch weather, if we didn't have enough stories and I needed more weather, he always said he was a human accordion. <laughs> if I needed him to do f five minutes, he would do it. He was always so part of the team. He kept a secret for Catherine Guyon after she fainted on the set early in her pregnancy. Doc helped me keep that secret for probably a few more weeks until I told everybody in the newsroom and was able to tell my family and tell all of you in the Ohio Valley. But I think that speaks a lot to who Doc was. He was so kind. He actually went into the nursing home to see my mom. He took Lulu. I'm getting a little teary-eyed, but he took Lulu to see my mom in the nursing home. I mean, what kind of a guy was he? He was so special. I hope to have a long career in news, but I can't imagine I'll ever meet a meteorologist like Dr. Dave. We were absolutely blessed to have Dr. Dave as a friend and as our chief meteorologist for the last 16 years. And uh, when I say friend, he was a friend to anyone and everyone. The person that you saw on TV that you felt like was your friend was the same person that we all saw every day. And we said that a lot when he retired, but it is 100% true. But you just couldn't help but like him. Retirement was tough saying goodbye then, but saying goodbye forever is even tougher. Dr. Dave Walker, unforgettable. DK Wright for 7 News, working for you.